Richard Henson. Richard nice to meet you. Hey, I'm Todd Roberts. Todd Salgas. Edward. Nice to meet you. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, how are you? Hey. 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 I'll give you a fist bump. All right. Come on in. Cool. So what are you guys up to? Yeah, so uh, I don't know if Michael Drews told you, but um, we've been working with Michael for close to five, six years now. Okay. Yeah, we're based out in Los Angeles. Yep. Uh, we, we've previously, pre-pandemic, we've collaborated with Michael on many, many seminars and like investor and apartment owner associations and, and just the whole real estate circuit in, in LA. Uh, Michael and our firm have pretty much have our hands and feet tapped into these networks. Sure. Uh, all that being said, I, yeah. Go ahead. I was going to say, I spoke up and down the coast at investor clubs for two years. I think yeah. I was out in LA, LA, San Francisco for several years, but it's, you know, now I've got, you know, a lot more investors than there are houses on yeah, the sure. LA, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's kind of what we're dealing with, you know. Going up yeah. and down the coast of California, you know, there's a lot of money there. Yeah. You know, we're dealing with a lot of investors, international, California, Same. a lot of 1031s. Yeah, you know, we're not seeing the cap rate that we used to have. No. Right? Especially in California. So we're, you know, since we've been working with Mike, we've been able to get them to go out of state, look out of state. And sure. it's been a great opportunity for all of them and us and working with Mike. So that's been really great. Yeah, I mean, uh, as a California investor, both Salesian and I, uh, we're always looking for out-of-state properties, investment opportunities. Sure. And uh, we understand that management is the most important facet. It is. Oh, and I'd be so, happy to talk. Are you, now, yeah, do you have properties here now? or We no? do, yeah. Okay. So we run a brokerage, again, uh, out in Los Angeles. So a lot of my investors are 1031 exchangers mm -hmm. that are trying to just cash in on all the equity gains they've experienced over the last, you know, one, two, three decades, and then pivot over to out of state markets where cash flow is almost double, sometimes triple. But uh, the reason why investors work with us is because we help them uh, divest and reinvest into, you know, five to 10% cap rate markets. So we construct portfolios. Uh, I do a lot of triple net lease properties, but, you know, I also love to sprinkle in some single family product here. Sure. Maybe right. it bolsters the portfolio's overall return, increases yeah. cash flow, creates diversification. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you Good. know the drill, so. Yeah, I do. Um, which is why, you know, we wanted to pay you a visit. Sure. Um, we need a management company anytime we're doing these acquisitions, and uh, I've had some clients actually transition from previous property managers to Park, yeah. but yeah. I've never met you guys in person. So, yeah. yeah. Well, Hopefully, you guys can take some uh, more clients down the line. Sure. So. No, we, are, yeah. we would be happy to. Um, and and then so you, do you know you have questions about property management? We're a little bit different. Yeah, I would that. love to learn about your management style. I know you guys yeah. are boutique and and, and uh, innovative, and so I'd love to hear more about that. Yeah. So. Uh, and you can ask specific questions as sure. you think of them. But but yeah, so we have a pretty good team. We all work remotely for the most part. We have we meet here. Uh, on Mondays and then different parts of the team get together and meet in here during the week for whatever they need to, to, to do. So that's, that's kind of, and then Wanda, uh, Fabric Gas is our leasing agent. And uh, Wanda, you, you either, you'll either love her or hate her, but mm. she, investors love her and tenants don't always love her <laughs> because, because, only because that you know, we have a process to go through and we not everybody makes makes our cut, right? right yeah. So we you know get people that are not all that happy that oh my gosh, I you know, I paid this application fee and you stole oh, yeah. our money and <laughs> I was like, Yeah, no, but we actually had to process your application and right. get your credit and all that. So anyway, but but aside from that, but she's excellent. She's kind of a bull, New York bulldog kind sure. uh, kind of gal, but she's extremely good. She's been with us for for quite a, you know quite a number of years, probably close to ten years, um, but but we're very selective on our tenants. And try to be we're you know we're not big credit score driven as much we as we are income stability of rental history how they left their last you know feedback from the previous landlord. You know, I, we don't care as much if you pay your phone bill, but you damn sure better be paying your rent consistently. Sure, yeah. uh, so that that's more the way that we we handle. You know, we have uh, we have low turnover and very low eviction rate, 
What we do is um, if we have somebody that's having, you know, because life happens to some of these people, mm-hmm. right? So, you know, their car breaks down and they got to get their car fixed to be able to go to work or whatever. And they can't, you know, as opposed to just immediately evicting uh, us people, we will, sorry, I'm not sure what it's not. Yeah, it's fun. There it goes. Oh. Uh, uh, we will try to work with people. So we'll say, okay, you know, what's your situation? Now you can smell if it's not legit but uh what's your situation oh you know my car broke down it cost six hundred dollars and i don't want whatever okay well we got two choices we can either go to eviction or we can work with you on a very structured plan to get back on track so you know we put two hundred dollars next how many i'll pay you know how should you get paid how much extra do you have you know we go through that whole thing and then we get them back on track uh, and that works most of the time, honestly. And so, you know, obviously, the times it doesn't, but um, but that works most of the time. And then you have the loyalty of the tenant. You know, you're like, oh my gosh, you saved me from eviction. You know, you know what I mean. I mean, so they have, they have some loyal level of loyalty at that point. Can you walk um, us through that process on that topic? Because in California, if we have a bad tenant, it could take anywhere anywhere between five to eight months to get it back. Yeah, I know. Uh, this, this Indiana, uh, is a very landlord friendly state. So, uh, honestly, if, if a tenant is late, we, it's rents due on the first, they've got till the fifth, as far as our grace period. Mm-hmm. And then if we have not got received their rent by the 10th, five day, another five day window, we send a pay or quit letter, which is our legal notice that we have to give a five day notice before we file it for an eviction. So we can, within 15 days of not receiving payment, we can file eviction. Mm-hmm. Now, that uh, process, you know, the courts are getting a little bit backed up right now, but that process is really not all that long. I mean, you know, two, three, four weeks, and you're... <laughs> yeah, kind of like California, right? Much yeah, quicker, you can get your occupancy back up. Yep. And, no. Yeah. Yep, exactly. <laughs> So, yeah, California is probably one of the worst markets to invest oh, in yeah. do residential oh, yeah. real estate in the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, but yeah, Indianapolis, is, as you guys probably know, I mean, you know, your sell price rent ratios here are probably amongst the best in the yep. country. Yep. And, um, uh, and, you know, there's a lot of, I don't know what type of properties you guys typically buy. I mean, I get a lot of investors, and you guys probably do too. So I want A-class properties. I want properties that are built in 2000 and whatever. Well, I, I used to get that a lot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. And, um, and they just don't understand that those aren't the best tenants. Yeah, exactly. You, you have, you have uh, you know, let, oftentimes less return. Uh, on the higher priced properties, you have more expensive turnovers mm-hmm. and you have more frequent turnovers because they're usually transients yep. or, you know what I mean? Yep. And yep. so, uh, so we really like the, you BC, know, the BC, yeah. yeah, you, you know, the yeah. game. So, uh, cause there are oftentimes some, some of our tenants will be lifelong tenants, mm-hmm. you know, yep. uh, and that's what we want. We want to find a good one and keep them right. Yep. So gotcha. That's kind of our mm-hmm. style. So are your leases usually year by year, month by month? We do two year leases now, okay. and then we do them self renewing two year leases. So it comes to the end of the two years, mm-hmm. and if the market's stable and you don't want to do anything, it just keeps going. It goes for another two years. Oh, they've, wow. got, they've got to go. They've got to give you notification mm-hmm. in advance of the end of the lease. Or if you want to change the the rate or the terms or whatever then you have to give notice before the end of the term. So what about, sorry, what about like timing of the leases? Like I know, you know, based on the weather, do you guys still sign leases November, We sign leases year round, but obviously between the holidays, Uh between Thanksgiving and Christmas, Uh New Year's is the slowest time. Right. First, first part of the year. I mean, we still sign leases during that period, but that is the slowest time of volume. With the demand right now, mm-hmm. I don't anticipate a huge issue even during that period right now. Um, it will take a little longer probably, but mm-hmm. uh, but I think the demand will be there for okay. properties right now. Can you touch base on like the investor experience? I mean, by working with you guys, do you get do they get access to all of the contractors and 
Do they have a portal they can go on to? Can you walk through? Well, yeah, the that, that's, um, so Propertyware is the, the, the system, and they will get a, each get a login. Uh, you know, every every transaction, every, serve, every work order, every bill, everything will be in there for them to access and follow. Plus, they'll have an end of the month, they'll get an end of the month um, uh, statement that they can access as well. Um, we actually have a lot of the same contractors that we've worked with for years that we've negotiated kind of. So, you know, when I get somebody that says, well, I'm not going to work with you if you're not getting three bids, you know, we've done that <laughs> many times. And, and, and that's not how we operate. I mean, we operate, operate a little bit bigger scale than that. Mm -hmm. sure. yeah. uh, so, you know, we negotiate, for example, our HVC contractors and our plumbing contractors. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit more no, sophisticated than that. I definitely agree. That makes it more efficient. And yeah. we're working with a lot of more passive investors. Yeah. So they're like, yeah, we so don't want to, they don't want to have to look at three bids. And no. You don't have to look at three bids. No, that's, and that's kind of our point. And then you got to just set that threshold where it's it's like five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars. Yeah, it's actually contact. less. Actually, our threshold is four hundred okay. dollars, and people will go down to two hundred if somebody's like, "Oh my gosh, I want to know what every penny oh, really? spent." Okay. If we, they want to know anything above two hundred dollars, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll let them know. Okay. Yeah. Do you turn down any properties? Is there a geographic yes. boundary that you are limited to or type? Um, we really try to focus in Marion County or right outside of Marion County. Um, is a kind of our primary focus, but well, that's where the majority of the rentals in this area are anyway. Um, we'll consider other, uh, you know, surrounding counties uh, as far as properties go. Um, we, we will turn down a property if it is not the health and safety related, mm -hmm. sure. if it's not sure. a decent property. Um, we really don't want it. If somebody's not willing to, to put the effort and oh, yeah. money into it, and then we prefer for, because we have our own properties we're dealing with too, we prefer that the properties come at least in de already renovated in some level of con decent condition. That's why I you know, work with Michael a fair amount because I know uh, his team mm -hmm. reasonably well. Um, uh, so yeah, I mean, we 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 definitely don't we don't do a lot of Section Eight. We don't mm -hmm. we'll take Section Eight, but we're going to transfer. We're going to transition that to a market rate tenant immediately. Yeah, uh, because the uh, the the effort and cost involved, and, and all the inspections and the yeah. delays, yeah. and 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 there's I could go on about that for a long time but yeah, I yeah no same so, with Los Angeles yeah, <laughs> yeah and it's just don't appreciate the property in the landlord right. you know? well that's yeah that's part, that's part of it but also the section 8 process itself yeah. is kind of onerous yeah. and you can lose a month and just in inspections and the lease of <laughs> you know and yeah the lease of process so gotcha. uh, so anyway so yeah so can you, uh, can you talk to us about kind of your history as far as like your experience in sure, Indianapolis? Yeah. Love to know a little bit more about the people. Yeah, I just in. started a couple of days ago. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I, I have been a broker since 1990. Okay. Probably older than you guys. <laughs> but uh, uh, a long time. And uh, and then I was really, in, I started in the development business and then I switched to the building industry and I was an executive for big builders for about a decade. Um, I've had... I, I've got, I don't know, 27, 28 LLCs right now, different yeah. companies. And, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I know I know the Indianapolis market, both on, you know, mostly on the develop, on, on the uh, building, renovation, and, and uh, management side, but also now on the development side, which yeah. is more of a peripheral, peripheral uh, areas. But, uh, but yeah, I've been around a little bit. Cool, well, excellent. <laughs> How did you guys, uh, and I, I hate to bring up, you know, what happened in 2020, but how did you guys deal with that, you know? It was what what specifically? Time. I mean, in California, we saw a lot of delinquent payments. We saw yeah. a lot of, you know, we Before couldn't eat bigs. Yeah. And those that had debt service were stuck in a situation where I have 3% cap rate, my note is 4%. And half of my rents aren't coming through, you know, it puts you in a stick. Well, I would just tell you that we were, I don't know if we're lucky or good, but well, I don't care what it is. We had very few 
people that were really affected that uh, that we had you know we we had a handful that we went work with the owners we work with partial payments we tried to get people back on track we work our property manager Allison work with uh, with supporting services and organizations that could help feed uh, money keep things going honestly we were very fortunate. Mm -hmm. We didn't have anything like that. I mean, California is a <laughs> lot different world, yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, the rents are, you know, are, are a lot higher and, mm -hmm. and, you know, people get uh, get sideways in a minute. Yeah. Because yeah. of the amount of money they're paying rent compared to their income. So it's not. Um, it's not. It was not that way for okay. us at all here. It was very, very fortunate. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah. You have any other questions, Sal? No. Well, I think we covered the majority of the stuff that, you know, as an investor, guys, we look yeah. at. And you guys can call me anytime. No, we definitely appreciate the time. Yeah. yeah. So. All right, guys. Well, again, thanks, thanks, so much. Much. Yep, Thank absolutely. You. Yep, Thank thanks you. for coming. Thank you for Thank coming. You. See you. We'll definitely reach out to you.